Hi guys, I need to tell you facts before using a spirit box. Make sure you're you're using it in a quiet location, not not too much noise. You probably want somewhere where you can meditate and use it. Or you need to be in a quiet room for the spirit to communicate. Sometimes they're kind of shy. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Um, with spirits, you have to be delicate. Um, they're not a toy. A spirit box is definitely not a toy. I don't recommend to fool around with the spirits on it because, you know, if you don't want to make a spirit angry because they're not like a human angry, I would hate to think if a spirit got angry. They're kind of frightening when they're angry. Yeah. So, If you want to use a spirit box, that's great, but there are rules. When using a spirit box, it's almost like oh, you're communicating with something that isn't, you know, alive anymore. So you are communicating with a being that died or had a past. So you got to remember their past. So you're going to get a response like I did. Um, if you're gullible, I don't recommend it. Um, the spirit box I use is a real one. I don't mess around with those things. I don't recommend it. If you're frightened of it, please say goodbye or end the session. Because if the, if the spirit is angry, it may not want to communicate. It may not want any communication. Because it's angry. So, you can't ask it what happened. It doesn't want to talk. Then leave it. Um, what's my opinion? If you're going to download a spirit box, it is not a toy. Don't, don't use it and mess around with the spirit on it, because you don't know what you're getting into when you get into that. Now, I use it for ghost hunting, and I like it, and I talk to the spirits, and I get response. And some of their voices sound pretty creepy, but it doesn't scare me. But for some people who are gullible or easily frightened by these things, don't do it. I mean, it's like a Ouija board. You're getting into a communication with a being that died, or maybe had a violent past or something. You never know with these things. But if you want to use it, if you're going on a ghost hunt, then download this app. This app will help you on a ghost hunt. You can definitely talk to any spirit you want, but you don't want to talk to a demon. A demon's not a nice spirit. I mean, if I come across an angry spirit, I'm told to say goodbye. Angry spirits do not take well to things. So, and that bop I heard last night, I have no clue what that was. I've never heard a bop like that in the laundry room. And it's impossible. I put all my stuff how could that happen? Nothing fell. I'm going to check my haunted doll. But it's in a weird position now. But there's links to the videos I sent you of the EVP I tested. If you want to use a spirit box for ghost hunting, just download them on the Google Play Store. They have ones on the Google Play Store. I posted a link down below to uh, Spirit Box for you guys to try. So please, if you want to go on a ghost hunt, use the Spirit Box and have someone with you. Because you don't know what will happen on the other end. Now if you want to go to a really disturbing haunted house, you need a team. I don't know. They claim the Amityville is haunted. I've not... I've seen the movies about it. It's pretty disturbing. I'll tell you a story. Well, actually, a man named Ronald DeFeo Jr., named Butch Jr., went and shot six members of his family at 3.15 a.m. in the morning. Apparently, he told the courts that the devil told him to kill his family or... Some evil presence in the house made him do it. The other people plead that maybe he wasn't getting along. I don't know. 
but it was a very disturbing fact, so. Um, I don't think Ronnie DeFeo Jr. will ever get out of the correctional facility he is in because he committed a, a brutal crime. He killed six members of his family. It was a very disturbing crime. Now, apparently the Warrens, after that, a man named George and Kathy Lust moved into the Amityville house in Rhode Island on 112 Ocean Avenue. They claimed to move out because of um, evil forces, demonic beings, um, supernatural phenomenons, loud noises keeping them up. At three in the morning, they felt a presence that wasn't nice. I don't know. Um, but they claim it was haunted, that's why they moved. I don't think that would be a particularly good reason to move from a house. But it did have a past. There was a family killed in that house. I don't know. It's very disturbing that this man did that. Plus he has to spend years in a prison. Um... I wrote a story on Storyfire about it, but I'm warning you that the Amityville Horror has made several movies about it. There was one starring Ryan Reynolds, and it's um, about the Amityville and George and Kathy Lust move into the house and claim that they got disturbed by uh, supernatural events that took place in that house like loud noises in the middle of the night the crosses going upside down which is not a good thing if a ghost does that it means it's not happy I don't know much um, but the Amityville house is still around. It's probably still for sale. I don't know many people who want to buy it after what happened in it. There was a very brutal murder that took place in that house, which people will still remember, but it will never be forgotten, but people are gonna buy that house. But who would wanna live in a house where a family was murdered? That's like living in a house of sins. Nah. I uh, don't think the Amityville house, um, I think it's occupied now. Someone must have bought the house, but I remember hearing ghost stories about the house. Apparently, Ed and Lorraine Warren were the ones who investigated the hauntings of the Amityville and claim there were supernatural forces, but they believe that the supernatural forces may have driven Ronnie DeFeo to do those acts of violence. Now, some people think that he planned it all, it was deliberately done, but you can't be sure because there wasn't, I don't know, is there a motive? Some people won't even go in the house because of the dark history of the house it has a past that is very disturbing that will probably haunt your dreams forever if you go to the house because of what happened in that house it's hard to even picture in your head that a man came from success and a very wealthy family then suddenly he decided to brutally murder his whole family how could that happen? We don't know, but some people claim that Ronnie DeFeo and his father had a row before he killed his parents or family. And uh, he and his father had a very poor relationship, Ronnie DeFeo and his father. It's hard to say, but people claim that his father uh, had a hot temper or something and he was not nice to Ronnie DeFeo 
and he only picked on Ronnie DeFeo, who was the oldest son, and they had a very hateful relationship, so maybe that could have motivated him to do it. I mean, people fight with their parents all the time, but you never hear that. So there's many specters. Some people claim that supernatural forces or something in the house drove him to kill. Now that could have been a factor. Some people claim he heard voices before he killed them. So there's many scenarios how it happened and enactments how. And people made movies about the Amityville. There's even books based on the Amityville horror. There's several books about it. I mean, if you're really gullible, that movie is quite disturbing, I'll tell you. The thought that a man would just suddenly kill his family after living with a wealthy family, it didn't seem like something wrong, but on the outside, anything can seem normal. And then behind closed doors, what happens? We don't know what happens behind closed doors. That's what people say. Once you close the door, you don't know what happens. That's what I'm saying. This is scary because in the Amityville, Ronnie DeFeo Jr. is the one who killed his family. But apparently there was a very disturbing scene and it was in the Amityville Horror, the original one, and a voice in the attic told the priest to get out. Now, it might have been a ghost of some sort of presence that's haunting the house and didn't like the priest there because he was blessing everything. And that's probably not good when you have angry spirits because they don't like that water. That water dissolves them, I think. I'm not sure, but if you want to know more about the Amityville, I would suggest to watch the movie or rent it. It's on YouTube, you can rent it, but it's a very disturbing movie.